A very good afternoon to you, Ms. Said, and welcome to my private tutor. And thank you so much for taking out time and giving us this interview. So, so I would like to ask you my first question. Uh, that is, if you could give us an overview about your institute and your faculty and what actually it deals with. See, we started uh, Career Speak Education in 2007. So it's almost been eight years. It's been a very pleasant journey. And we started initially only with spoken English. But uh, we've added a lot of courses now, a lot of uh, career courses. We have a lot of computer courses like the basic computer course, tally, financial accounting. Also, we have software courses. And there's a lot of uh, demand for courses like Java and C++. So we're uh, teaching all that. But coming back to spoken English, which has been our main focus, uh, I think it's, uh, it's the basic skill that is required nowadays. So we have people coming from all walks of life. We have uh, teachers coming in. We have professionals coming in, like doctors and lawyers. Also, we have students coming in, but it's like age no bar. Okay, we have um, uh, our classes, our batches are all you know mixed. We have students, we have housewives, we have uh, professionals, and they're all coming to learn spoken English or communication skills, basically. So it's very important, especially in this scenario, because you may be professionally uh, qualified, but unless you can speak well. Okay, you can communicate your ideas, it's really no point. You know, especially for getting a good job, you do require the skill. Okay. And if you could also speak about your faculty and like from yeah. where? See, um, I have two very good uh, spoken English teachers and I always keep uh, full-time teachers. So uh, that is even after the class, if students have any queries or they have any problems, so they sit and work with the students. And I also have two uh, male teachers for uh, the computer classes. Now they're all experienced, at least five years plus, and they're all qualified in their stream. So, uh, and the teachers are very friendly, at the same time professional, and uh, uh, the student and teacher relationship I feel here is very good. Okay. So you were talking about spoken English and the importance of it in today's present job scenario. Okay, so I would like to uh, like ask you if you could just highlight the importance like uh, in more depth and tell us like how important it is actually. As I told you that uh, it's the basic skill that's required nowadays. English and computer. That's the first thing you're asked about when you go for a job. That's the first thing they're looking for on your CV. It's very important to communicate well. And as we all know, India has so many languages, so the only common language is English. So it's required, and we have uh, so many of these new types of jobs coming in, the BPO jobs, the call center jobs. So even if you're not very qualified, but you can speak well, you can easily pick up a job. And so that apart even for professionals, I mean, I have batches of students coming from medical colleges, engineering colleges, who are like professionals, they are going to get big degrees, but even they realize the, uh, the value of English. So unless they are fluent in English, they will not be able to you know, establish a good career for themselves. And we also have housewives coming in because they feel that if they cannot communi communicate well in English, how are they going to teach their children? Everybody does realize the importance of spoken English. Okay. So, as you said that you offer a lot of courses. Yeah. So, uh, like, what is the USP of your courses and, uh, like, what are the placement facilities, uh, like, post taking up those courses? Uh, see, I think this is one institute that provides English and a lot of other computer courses which are, you know, it will meet anybody's requirement who is looking for a job. We do have dedicated courses for jobs, like we have a BPO training course. Okay. So we have these types of courses which are you know, linked directly to jobs. They are all job oriented. And the USP here is that we give a lot of individual attention to all our students. Because sometimes we get students from 
very, very weak backgrounds. You know? So we have categories, we have zero level, we have level one. So like this, we teach English in five levels. So when people come for uh, uh, admission, we just don't put them in any random spoken English class. We try to judge the level and accordingly put them. So that they learn well, they understand what they're learning. If we just put them randomly in any group, they'll not be able to pick up anything, the very weak ones. So we do have these levels, which I feel that a lot of institutes uh, don't really uh, you know, offer. So we do conduct this preliminary interview or a small test or something, and we try and put them in a category and accordingly put them in a batch. Also, if you could talk about the placement scenario post taking up these courses. Yeah, we have a few placements. I personally look after the placements. So say, uh, for example, the financial accounting course. It's a professional course and uh, I do randomly get calls because people see that we are training people in tally and financial accounting. So I get a lot of calls from these uh, businesses and offices that we require tally train people or people who are uh, trained in Excel or uh, taxation. So we are providing good placements to our students. Uh, plus, we I also have tied up with a lot of call centers in Salt Lake and even here in the main city where they require manpower and we are sending our students. And before that, we are training them, not only in spoken English, but a dedicated uh, interview training is also there, which is like a four or five work, uh, days workshop. And we also teach them body language uh, and how to carry themselves, what probable questions they will be asked in the interview. So that is how we are preparing them so that they are able to face the interview and get the jobs. Okay. So you just spoke about like facing the interview and the probable questions which will come. So you also provide a call, like you also prepare students for government jobs. Yes, we do. Okay. So like uh, that's the most difficult exam I believe. So uh, if you could share a few tips for those who will be aspiring for a government job. We are training people for the government jobs and uh, for the government jobs, first of all, there are a lot of notifications available online and they keep coming. You can also get them in your mail if you register for it. Each of these jobs has an eligibility criteria. Okay? So a person who is aspiring for it first has to check whether he meets the eligibility criteria or not, his qualifications are matching or not. Here we are training for the written exam. We have a combined course which prepares you for SSC and real exams. SSC rail also happens at different levels. Like there's an HS level and combined graduate level. So accordingly, when students come here, first we see their uh, qualification and we accordingly tell them which course is suitable for them. And uh, in the written exam, uh, there are three, four uh, sections. English is of course there. Then there is quantitative aptitude, which is maths, and then reasoning and GK. And also current affairs. So we are uh, training them for all these things, but my tip would be to be very thorough with current, uh, current affairs because that nobody can teach you. Yeah. Okay, so if you are aspiring for a government job, uh, you must uh, be very thorough with the current affairs and of course English because for a lot of these jobs, like the banking job, once you fail the written exam, you also have to face the interview. So for that your English should be very good, there's an interview and a GD round. So English is very important, again communication skills. So that's what I would say. At the end of the day everything just comes around to how well you can like speak English and how well you can put forward your words. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my last question to you would be uh, like how has my private tutor helped with your tutoring experience so far? It has definitely helped a lot. We've been getting a lot of leads from their side in my mail and um, also we, we are listed on their website. So it's been a, a good experience uh, for us and uh, we look forward to a better future with them. Even we surely do and I hope this is a very long term association with you. 
Uh, thank you so much, Ms. Sid, for taking out, taking out time and giving us this interview. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.